Hello YouTube, here at the range with my CVA scroll rifle. Didn't have a lot of camera left on the, or battery left on the other camera, so I decided to just get some shooting footage in on that one. But this is my CVA scroll rifle. Uh, I took it out the other day, tried it with 10 grains of triple left, triple seven, and the results were not the greatest. I've had this gun a long time. This was my grandfather's gun. He built it from a kit, and I rebuilt it some 20, well, about 25 years ago now. And it's been getting a little more worn, so I had to take the action or the lock apart and oil that up on the back side. And I've been doing some work with it, and I decided to take it out again. And it didn't really shoot that well again with the triple seven. So today I took it out with 3F Go X black powder, good old-fashioned pure black powder. And the results, as you can see, are pretty good. It uh, it does it pretty. This is at 30 yards, and again, you'll see the footage of when I was shooting it. You'll see, you know, how it really didn't do a bad job. And the thing is, the trigger on this gun is not the greatest. This gun started off with double set triggers, but when I got it, there was something. There was an issue with the second trigger, and it couldn't be fixed. So I removed it and turned it into a single trigger gun. It does not have the greatest trigger pull. It's not bad, but there's a bit of it's almost like a military trigger. It's got a bit of a creep to it. But once you get used to it, it's it's kind of it's not the worst in the world. It's also just not the best. But and of course I replaced the nipple a couple years ago with one that takes musket cap, which really helped the ignition on this gun. But there it is at 30 yards. This is definitely squirrel capable. Um, it will definitely do the job. And, you know, it's this is one of these guns. I was going to get a Traditions Crockett. I really was thinking about getting something that was going to be hopefully accurate. Because I wasn't getting the accuracy before. But this is where with muzzle loaders you need to experiment a little bit. And with the pure Go-X black powder and 20 grains, as you can see, the experimentation is, uh, is all you need sometimes. You know, it's a 310 round ball and a tenth of an inch patch. Which, in this gun, you know, it's... it's the uh, the smaller bore muzzle loaders like this, the uh, it tend to be a little tougher to get it down the bore. But with that being said, YouTube, here it is, and have a great day.